aggregation is something that's been around for probably 20 years. It really allows individuals uh, to be able to have their personal financial data consolidated into one place. It provides a lot of ease and simplicity in, in managing your personal financial information. What we're trying to do at SIFMA on behalf of the industry is really to inform the public and socialize with the public what their what their responsibilities and their rights should be with respect to uh, data aggregation and data that they share with various providers. This is really about protecting the customers and protecting their data. One of the things that can be done to address the risks is exactly what SIFMA is doing with its members. We've come together as an industry really locking arms to work together to add additional protections to our clients when they're allowing their information to be aggregated. We're coming together to work in ways that allow for a consistent approach that doesn't require consumers providing their credentials. So we're, we're leveraging the use of APIs and other standards to work together to protect data. Well, with the growth of, of data aggregators, which is a good thing, um, and, the, and, and more technology that's, uh, that's available to consumers, to investors, to understand their financial position, we also think it's important to have some high-level principles on what a customer should understand with respect to how their data is being used, what rights they have uh, in, in terms of protecting that data, uh, protecting themselves from things such as cyber risk or misuse of that data. So we felt as this emerges as, a, as an important tool and product for investors and customers across the spectrum, there ought to be, there ought to be some protections put in place, some, some principles put in place so people understand what they're doing, what they're getting into, and how they can take care of themselves. You know, we've come together and really agreed on uh, a set of standards. These are principle-based standards uh, that will allow a lot of flexibility for the institutions to determine how best to work with their clients. Uh, but there's really four key areas within those principles. The first is around access. And we absolutely believe that customers deserve and have a right to access uh, their information and have it consolidated in a way that makes sense for them. But we also believe that they should have control around that access, understanding who they're providing the information to, specifically what information they're providing, and how they're providing that information. We also want to have a set of standards that as an industry we, we leverage together um, so that we are not opening up our financial services ecosystem to additional risk uh, from cyber attacks and other hackers. We'll also be working to provide a consistent set of contracts and agreements to make it easier to work together. Uh, we are really one big financial services sector globally, and the more that we can work together to ensure protection for our clients' data, the better off we'll all be. Well, we hope that uh, our members who uh, you know, who, who have clients who are investors, many of whom want to use aggregators, use aggregation tools, that they can socialize these with their, uh, with their clients. So they understand, again, when they're thinking about using an aggregator, when they're thinking about providing uh, access to their accounts, they're thinking about who am I providing that access to, what protections are in place for me, for my data, for my accounts. Uh, so this is something we hope will be a tool that our members can use with their clients. I think this is a great initiative uh, that exemplifies what SIFMA does with its members. At the end of the day, we're about providing great financial services to the end client. And by coming together as an industry, working together to further shore up our protection and our protection of our clients' data, we're just going to be a much stronger financial services ecosystem.